Okay, guys, I'm gonna actually shove first hand here. I think. Could be a really quick Thursday 500. Could be a one hander. I, know, I mean, as soon as he's tanking, we know we have the best hand. It's just uh, whether he's gonna flick it in a little bit late. And we're just gonna slow play this. Blind versus blind. That's half pot. We're gonna keep slow playing all the way down. Turn is a three. We lose days five now. I don't really think pocket threes with like min rays. That'd be pretty weird. I mean, I expect to see some pairs from him as well. And like a lot of random stuff. 7x, once again, not too scared about 7x in a spot like this. He might be scared about it though. He bets 48. I'm gonna shove, so I don't expect this to ever be a 7. Could have pocket aces, but that'd just be sick anyway, so. All right, he gives it up. Just gonna rip it against cutoff. I think that's perfectly reasonable. All right, let's go. All right, take it down with the nines. My music player just quit. Two jacks in the 530, let's raise. Playing six max at the moment. Okay, C-bet. C-betting here looks good. Take down another pot, raise C-bet, raise C-bet, raise C-bet. Um, man, I guess I'll raise. You bet? Into me? Crazy, bro. Gonna raise the river against his sizing. And he's gonna call with queen nine. He's gonna call with queen nine of spades, right? He's gonna snap fold. Not like crushing the calling range, whereas this spot is. Snap fold though. Oh nice, we made the money. Got our first cash of the day, 125 open for $242. Alright, I'm all in here. 33 left. Once again, out of position with an offsuit, ace king, ace queen. They're just they're just jams every time. Very confused. Nice hand though. Take it down. I'm also defending here. Okay, sweat both. Queens you can sweat the open, but king three I'm defending. We gotta play post. This spot is tricky sometimes. Um 9-10 suited. I'm actually going to go for this bounty here. Check call. Turn is the 5. No action with the queens. 9-10 against king-queen for the bounty. He flops me almost dead. Turn some outs. Holy shit. River, am I out? Yo, we were drawing to like just a few percent. I had to go runner, runner. Sky fires a big turn back. for my king-3. I think living along here is pretty nice. Yep, pretty nice. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's man's? Alright. I'm all in. Just got Queen Jack with a diamond, no dice. I mean, tough to blame the guy. He's got the open ender, he's got a diamond in his hand. I mean, this is actually going to be a shove here with the ace 8. Good luck. Now this, on the flip side, is ridiculously good for me. Mr. Eleven flatted pre and then led the flop. That would make quite a bit of sense, I think. I'm gonna go for a small bet on the turn. It's kind of a crazy pot. See bet take it down, go to the check call here. Limp call, check call. Nine of diamonds, can lead here. I guess I do have a hand that can check call again, and I do want to keep pots smaller against this guy. So I'll do that. Do make our straight on the river. And I'm gonna actually go for something like... Oof. Maybe raise fold, fold. So at the gink then though. This could also be a three bet, possibly a fold. 6-5 deuce. Check it back. Having the king hearts is kind of a nice bet, but let's check. Nice turn. Uh, 
Calling down here. Sizing's just not polarized enough. Could be worse hands. Raising, uh, raising is I'm just. It feels very thin. This guy covers me. See, it's under the gun, under the gun one. It's just tight. The ranges are tight here. See, the bounty to stack ratio here is pretty decent. Um, I think I gotta fold. I gotta fold. We're getting closer to the money, so calling it off is like a bit sketchy. Okay, this is gonna be this could be pretty big here. Ooh, aces. All right. Calling the, the 10 big blind gym. Big blind folded, no action. Queens against nines. 17 left. 5k up top. And a hold. Big. All right, no action with the birds. That's all right, though. All right, Jay Smackers. Let's take it to the streets, buddy. Okay, so we have uh, top pair. We call. Turn is amazing. We love it. We pick up... We pick up equity in case he does have like an ace king or something. Um, but still all the broadways miss. Check, check, turn. Okay, so I think value betting our ace x here is decent because all the broadway bluffs miss. However, we could check strong ends on that turn. Now nah, let's just value bet. Okay, we get paid. I don't know if like I should value bet all my ace x, but ace king, 11 left. Shove there would have been nice. I don't think I normally would see bet here against uh, these two. Adam's like kind of just out of this hand. The 80k left. Like he's just not going to impact their decision here with Ace King. Okay. Let's play the turn. I feel like calling is just still a thing here on the turn. We see another bet. Uh, here I'm going to call. Top pair, top kicker against aces. Ace King against aces. That's a mother effer, isn't it? Six, five. This is man. Let's go to the 500. We got top pair, top kicker against the big blind. I cover the big blind. Okay, we got this spot here. Sorry. Kind of want to feature the 125, but uh, I'll try to feature these ones too. Okay, we'll call once with the open ender. Um, looking for a king or an eight. Those could be very lucrative uh, cards for us. Deuce, probably just gonna get barreled out for a hand here, honestly, which is gonna happen, but it's fine. A lot of big bets on this turn. Pot over bet. It goes kind of smaller, but still, this is just a situation where it's not a spot where we're gonna be hero calling on like jacks or tens. Um, we have to play the river out of position. Just. Let's go fold. And I made the final table as well in the 125 open. Let's go. Take it down with the ace eight. Beauty. Why do I keep saying beauty? Not gonna regem against two. Alright, final table time. 125 open. Five thousand dollars for the win. Gonna shove here in the hijack. So here I get two callers, and I actually did call because he made it. I made it two big blinds. He made it four point five. He checked it back. Whoa. What the fuck is that hand, dude? Oh my god, Crow, what the fuck was that? Okay, we're in the money of the 530 now. Fuck, man. Wow, I, I thought there was no goddamn chance I was gonna lose that hand. Once it went check, 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 and I shoved, and he's just sitting there for like 30 seconds. I was like, how could I ever lose that spot? I mean, I, I honestly just... I was just thought I was way in the clear. I thought I was way in the clear in that end. I suppose in hindsight, 
Like in hindsight, like I could have aces there. I could have ace jack suited there, right? I could have some like ace jack suited. I'm just gonna go all in to be honest. But um, you know, I could have aces. I guess king jack. I don't know. I just... Okay, a seven suited. We want to raise and we want to call small blind. We'll call big blind too though, for twenty bigs. You gotta think about it from his perspective, right? Like if I can have uh, aces or king jack. Or ace jack, or any okay. And here's the other thing: if he doesn't think I'm gonna value bet an ace on the river, well then it's like okay, bluff or just I have a better hand for the most part, like or jack ten. Like I think it's worth thinking about at least. And he did think about it for a bit and then call. But I don't. I don't think that's a spot where you just like, like if it was me, I would snap it. So we check back a few times and see a. Larger bet on the river. Yeah, I think I will end up calling this one. I just don't think it's very hard for them to bluff in the spot. And, like, I'm just going to bet my 10x. I'm going to bet my jack hex. I don't have a lot of those. All right, we got our own hand, though. We're going to be all with the two nines. Against big bets blind. The check raiser himself on the river. This is the guy. Take it down immediately. Three bet. I will uh, peel this one. 27. Pretty good price. Yeah, sure. A little side note here. I do think a lot of the value hands like getting it in on these stacked ups. Like a lot of the ace queens, a lot of the ace kings. Even hands like ace jack, ace ten. Like they don't really three bet non all in here. This is like getting, it gets very polarized when they take this kind of line. And when it's like a really big stack like this, somebody that we've already seen, like a check ray is a different hand. I'm just like, you know, I got like the bluff in my head a little bit more often. We will float the flop. They could have a really good hand though, you know. Jack's plus. But they find the check on the turn. I mean, my jack high could be good right now, which sounds silly, but... I do want to be able to hit a jack 10 or, or queen on the river. If you check calls, my equity's garbage, so... Still possible to bluff on the river as well. This is a, vi this is a dumb spot. This is a dumb spot. I'm not allowed to call this. I'm not allowed to call this hand. I'm not allowed. It's not allowed to do. But I could be wrong. Maybe he is 3-bidding that stuff, you know. That would just be my assumption. It's all a big guessing game. That was a nice double in the 215. Nine get paid, 15 left. That's good. Really good river. Jack high hero call for the boys. Not like this. I didn't do it, okay? I didn't do it. I'm gonna regen this. Ooh, nice one. Blind versus blind. Hold it. This is big. Boom, that's a big double. Big double. Everyone chill, are we mad? People aren't mad, right? I I just, I, I mean, I'm like, okay, I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you guys, okay? We can be honest here. Because I'm never trying to be, you know, come off as the best poker player. I'm making some troll plays right now. I just check raise king jack of diamonds against the big sizing here. On shallow stack depths. And then just checked it down. Like an absolute muppet, man. Just a Muppet play. Just trolling. This has not been my best session, I don't think. That doesn't mean I can't win all ins, though, against Joseph. Low cards. I'm trolling a bit. Let's keep it going, though. In the money at the 500. No bounties. Almost last place. Here we go. This is for a deep run. You know, when I turned the music up, I thought this hand might go a little bit quicker. Here we go. Come on. Chase Smackers, you're trolling. You got 17 million. You have to have... You have Dog Dog. He has two cards with pictures of dogs on him. Oh my god. Please. Oh, please. Hey! <laughs> That's big. 25 blinds are going in again. Never mind, I'm raising. And then going in. Check's pretty good on this board. Call turn. 
I'm folding out a ton of better hands. And a lot of the draws that I pick up barreling on the turn, like, we don't want to be bet folding those anyways, so... Now, this guy immediately overbets, which uh, puts my king-queen in a weird spot. Uh, I think I fold against an overbet, but maybe... Yeah, yeah. Preferable if Kristoff folds here. Be better for me. Ooh, it's the biggest flip of 2021. For the chip lead, basically. Oh! Three in a row! Three flips in a row we just won. Holy shit, 95 big blinds in the 265. All right, Kristoff. I mean, yeah, 10's snappy in there for sure. I don't blame the guy. Why am I considering risking 70 big blinds? Nobody knows. Why have I put myself in this situation, but this guy's got kind of a fat bounty. I don't know what to do now. I think I have to call it off. Oh, any 10s? Nope. It's actually a pretty good spot for 8-9 suited. Uh, I think a rejam here, like a squeeze jam is not too bad, but I'll just get a call. What a fish shove 40 big blinds with Queen Jack. Your name is no more tilt, but you've somehow found a way to be mad at, at my place. Even. Nice. Yeah, I think uh, with Jay Smackers, I'm assuming he has a pretty wide flatting range. Nines against Ace King, and we have another elimination down to 12. We've done okay. I, you know, I feel a moral obligation to remind you guys I don't have any bounties yet. Feels bad, man. I don't. Okay, we flop a pair. BVB. A lot of interesting things that can happen on the turn in this hand, so we'll see. So, things below 8 are pretty nice. 9 of hearts definitely uh, changes a lot, to be honest. He now sizes it up on the turn. So, my I have, I have, uh, I have a pair and a heart. It's kind of weak, but... Still quite a few bluffs. Like, you could be bluffing the ace of hearts, king of hearts. You could have just king, queen, queen... Ooh, Queen Jack's not a bluff. King Queen, King Jack, some other random bluffs. I think Pair and a Heart just see the river here. Check. We need to check though. Okay, guys, we're in the money now of the 215. So we have cashed another thing. We have one bounty. And now the min cash. No, you can't play uh, on party poker in the US. Uh, you know, my hand could be the best, honestly. Good. This guy checks down ace-5. This guy checks down ace-queen. We're chilling, man. I, I'm just gonna go over the shove here. Put the two sevens. Good luck, guys. Uh, we got the ladder, though. River goes over back call. Ooh. A6, so open shove here. I don't really like limping this one because we don't want to take it to the streets. Plays awkwardly out of position, just a shove. Let's go. Take it down. We did just make the final table of the 215 turbo. Oof. Raise called jam, runs into the aces trap. Sir Max is out. GG's. How do we feel about a raise full there? Ooh, just a call, which is preferable to getting jammed on. And we flop actually really nicely. Top pair, top kicker with the club backup. Take it down right away. It's actually an all-in at the FT as well. Uh, shove from anti-Z, but the short stack folds. Three bet pot, the board is fantastic. All right, we have an all-in on the FT. King five against king three. Three on the flop. Hold that three. Oh, shit. Spade. Oh, and the... F all right, bro. No ladder. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to quarter pot this turn, but... 
Um, I'm an adult, so I do what I want. Ten on the river. Uh, it's about as bad as it gets. I'd say the non-club ten. Deep stacks, Dave. Thanks for the gifted sub. All over the ace queen. Eight out of eight. I still have no bounties. Next ladder is up to 1600. Come on. Good luck, guys. Call by King Jack. That's a good start. No! Yes! Five point six milli. That's big. You know, the equity said thirteen percent, but it felt like four percent. It felt like four. I guess just a raise full at this stage. I think. I mean, playing for the bounty and like trying to chip up going into the FT feels so nice though with King Nine. I'll fold up. Maybe jam is good. Take it down with the tens. Just call the King Deuce. Reverse the ace of spades. I have a flush. It's a really bad flush. Raise the ace 10 offsuit here. Hold the jack seven. Take it to the streets against J Smackers. This guy has the three of spades. Oh, that's such a bad beat. Oh my god. Um check it back. I want to realize our equity on all the good turns for our hand, which is quite a few. Fold against this limp here with the sixes. I think it's better than jamming in this scenario. I'll have to follow along with. I'm uh, gonna keep checking actually on the ace here. If he bets small, I will raise. If he bets big, I will call. If he checks, I will bet. It's a weird sizing to choose. I don't know actually. Take it down. Ooh, a little WPT end. Wow, th this little late night session is delivering everything we need. This is just. Content heaven right now. Jagged 10. Yep. Call. Boom. Nice double there. Yeah, queen 10, queen of hearts. Like, I don't really know where else. what else you would do. Ace, queen I raised. Just took it down. 10-7 on a 6-7 deuce. Uh, we could just check raise our top pair. Eight out of eight against the wide range. A lot of bad turns. I don't mind just check raising, running it here. Yeah. Okay, take that down. That's good. I think actually jamming here is pretty nice for King Nine. Gonna ship it in here on the FT. Six out of six at the moment. Nice. Ugly jam, but bubble. Yeah, if he called, I'm sure he would have been pretty thrilled to see what I had there, but Kings on the FT, come on! Okay, I gotta rejam here, but it did fold to me, so I get to take the shove. Cool. I mean, DJ Blaze going for the 3x. I feel like my fold equity drops quite a bit here. Oh, wow. That's got to be strong. Yeah. I was going to say, this. I mean, this has got to be way up there. Okay, so... Double up. Back to 25. Alright, it's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. But we got a clear lead on these two now. Rejam against this, maybe? Oh, God. I mean, it's a turbo FT. I think jam, probably to look at it though and we're running in the jacks and busting so what we were scared of happening happened immediately and it doesn't feel all that good all right gg i don't know i don't know how i feel about that one but okay we are gonna shove here uh for 25 against the uh, button, not the chip leader, the button. Going to raise fold to this stack. The under the gun one range is just going to be way too tight in the bubble, I think, to call there. 
I have not seen the tiger dock yet. Is it good? All right, there we go. I'm so bad 97 is busting, which means we have another FT. This is a big one, the 5.30 Thursday. Managed to get down to seven with zero bounties. Ooh, look at this. Look at this nonsense. Aces on the bubble, the WPT. It's almost the worst time to get the aces, but the thing is I do have this two stacks in the blinds that cover me. Who won't go crazy, but they might try. Sometimes the under the gun open on the bubble is, is too much, so you just take it down like that, you know? All right, let's run it. Boom! You love to see a snap fold, especially when you're so uncertain. Okay, these guys are battling, but I have two nines, also with another chance at a deep run here. Let's raise. It's the difference between turbo and regular. Turbo tournaments are faster. The blinds go up quicker. Oh, that's good. Oh, big flip. Very crucial final 20 flip. Need spades. One more. Ah. Gonna lose a flip. I, I just can't complain. I've just won a lot of all-ins. I just can't complain about it. I would like to, believe me. I'm a poker player, but uh, I can't. King six suited down here. We got a fold. Hello from Hawaii. Picked up a lot of chips there. This feels like a decent defense. Nine six deuce. Five seventy. All right. 7, 8, 10, spade. 7, 8, 10, spade. Low spade. 7, 8, 10, low spade. Or 5, 4, 3. 3 is good. See, they can check on a 3. Could almost lead on a 3. Problem is, I don't have like 6, 3, and 3, deuce, and 9, 3 on an FT like this. So that's a problem for my hand. He just gets the barrel. He just gets to sit there and barrel and not care about life. That's just nice. That's a nice life. The legend of Mad5820. Dropping five gifted subs. Right as we have Ace-King. Let's go. Oof. What in the fuck was that, mate? Okay, all in here, we're down to uh, 5.6 bigs. <laughs> okay, a little savior redemption run here. All right, um, that was big. Ace deuce against King Jack on a King Jack whatever board. It's tough to win, so that was lucky. Uh. All right, GG guys in the 530. I managed to get seventh place with getting zero bounties. I also picked up ace king against kings and aces. It's tragic. It's tragic. Good game. We cash for 1600. It's honestly not like a crazy big score given our position because I didn't win a single bounty. But it was a fun tournament. It was a fun FT. And I mean, we busted in such a way that there was no hope. There was zero hope. I'm all in. Alright. Sevens against Ace Jack. GG to Daniel Smith. With the with a Y. Uh, I actually like a shove here because I covered this player and the big blinds basically all in. So Queen Jack becomes a shove for 12 for sure. For show. Get to play for 156. I also I don't have a bounty in this one either, man. What have I been doing all day, dude? You can't fold, Christian. I guess you could. Don't, please don't. Don't, 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 don't. And call. Ah! Oh, you sick man's break. Oh my God, I run so bad in life. Ooh, another ace king. At least we know one thing, guys. When we have ace-king, there's no chance that my opponents are going to have both aces and kings, right? <laughs> Josiah checks back. Appreciate all that. I'm going to shove the queen nice suited. I mean, we're in, the, we're in the hijack, and we cover the button. 14. 
I think it's our right. I think it's it. Turbo, I like it a bit more. I like the fact the button's on seven. I mean, I think if you slap the 378 on there, we'd have to start thinking about it, but. Bottom pair on a Jack 10 6. Mm. I don't know if I like checking it. I just feel like on that board, there's a lot of draws that would love checking it back again and realize they're, they're realizing their equity. And I don't think my six wants to check that. Hey, Simon. Thank you for the dono. You have the queen 10 here. I'm liking the timing of this dono. It just feels like it's working together with the queen 10 very nicely. Queen 10, ace 10. That's a pretty bad hand to be against. I have some hope. Oh, I have some. I don't have any. All right, guys, GG. Another uh, another deep run in a bounty tournament today, but not a big score once again. Oh, well, I, I don't really have much to complain about. It's too bad that I couldn't uh, couldn't turn any of these into, into big ones, but uh, totals today, this was the buy-ins and the cashes. So we made a few hundred dollars, which is, like, a little underwhelming with two deep runs, but it was two bullets in the 530. And I had no bounties, which just doesn't happen. Like, you just don't run deep and final table without bounties. But I managed to do it almost twice, so. All right, gee, you guys. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to send the raid off to somebody. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the content. Catch you tomorrow. Appreciate it, guys. Peace.